Hello, welcome to the Salat Harimau Berantai Karambi tutorial. I want you to know that you are watching Karambi from the source, Silat from the Malay world. I was trained by the Maha Gurus and Tok Gurus in Nusantara, where the Karambi originated. In ancient times, the Karambi was always a killing mission, a weapon. It was never used as an agricultural tool. It's always been a weapon of destruction in a kill or be killed world. Alright, let's learn how to hold the karambe. First, the standard claw down for mid and close range combat. Next, the claw out for long range counters as well as extreme close range slashing. Claw out is the third method for all range combat. Claw in for extreme close range slashing. The last method is the tiger claw for grappling in extreme close range and cutting techniques. Alright, let's talk about the anatomy of the crown bit. First, the handle. It's made of hard wood. Yeah? Okay, so, so use it for the striking. Yeah, here we go. Striking, I'm gonna hit that, you know, as a target. Yeah. Throat would be good. Yeah? Nose would be good. So the plexus would be good. You can also slap to the inside part, so from here you slap the side of the ear, or you can break the nose. Boom. Alright, so this one. Okay, next one of course is the blade. Alright, the blade is double sided. So you can cut using this, you can slash using this, and of course you can stab. So get it up, basically, here we go. Rip, slash, you see? All the cutting, alright? And also, stab. The karambit is not a nunchaku or a bali song, okay? Do not spin your karambit around in front of your opponent unnecessarily. Every time you spin, you are vulnerable. Alright, now let's look at some uh, karambit techniques. Well, I will do it slow motion for you and explain it slow motion. So, when you're facing a knife like you don't want to be allowing him to stab you all the time and deflect it in and put back and stab you again, deflect it one more time. Okay, there's a lot of problems. Okay? So, what you want to do is first make sure this one will not come back second time. At the same time, you don't want this hand to follow through. When I do something, you will follow through with a punch. Can I put it Yes, okay. Now, so what you do is he comes in, see, you come this side, you take it and destroy this. Now, if you punch your face, there, see, you come here. Now, take the body out and cut. Let's go the other side. But again, I'm trying, what I'm trying to get across here is that you see, many people like to deflect and then play games where you know this guy can hit him upstairs, downstairs. The real reason why it keeps didn't happen is because you're doing it with a student. All right, he will not hit you. So what you do is, so in a real situation when it comes to sit up, you always want to do this. You want to destroy this hand and take this out. All right. Yeah. There you are. If you actually do the hand, attack with the hand. See, I got it. It's not reaching. Right. You take that leg. Put the leg up there. I can push. See. So this is very important, this hole here. Alright, what you just saw was uh, defanging the snake, an old concept. In Silat, we don't just say defang the snake. We always say defang the snake and cut it into pieces. Alright, so the next one is taking the lights out, another concept. Or we say taking the core. Alright, what I mean is, just now you take the hands. Now, you don't take the hands, you take the head and neck, which is the core. See, once you cut the neck or anything in the head, the guy will crumble immediately and fall to the floor. Yep, that's why I mean. So, again, so from here, you see, you don't want to be here all the time because he will keep stabbing and I have a lot of this way. Okay. When it is earlier, he comes in, we move to the side. So here, if he wants to take me, I'm controlling this one. Uh, see, he can't reach me. Can't reach me? Reach me? Reach me? He can't reach me. Okay, the kick is now? Uh, that's another one. Okay, yeah, that's another one. Okay. Okay. Or the kick the one, just push. Okay. So, for this one, you want to be here, alright? Yeah. Okay. Now I have my blade on the neck. But, of course, you ask me, what about this hand? It can hit me all the time. Boom. Alright, look at this technique. It comes, I can press this down, put it back in, or it comes, I can slash, and in. See? Got that? Okay, let's go back to the original position. 
Now, just the position. Alright. If you want, if you want to stab me, he has to turn his body, which is not so good, unless he step forward. But I got him already. Stand. That I mean by taking the lights out. So hide your karambe. You hide it. Your opponent will only know that you're holding a karambe when it rip off parts of his body. Well, that's all for this session. See you soon in the bloody knife tutorial. Take care. <laughs>